All right. Um. Damn it. Why is it always the wrong way around? All right. Welcome back to the Mofa Project. And um, today, I actually... um, It was Monday today. And uh, today, I actually finished a chapter on how to do sketches on the uh, software that I'm learning. So, therefore, you know... I'm very happy that I finally removed a hundred and a hundred and sixty five pages of it. So uh <laughs> that took a while. I mean it it took a while because of all the stuff that happened, but uh yeah. So what I want to do today is actually, you know, fi uh fix this a little bit up and down. Um probably I'm gonna do it. The, um, let's see, this one? Yeah, yeah, this one. What I'm going to do today is going to be very easy. Uh, filter. Ah, all right. Well, that's going to be a thing. Uh, we're going to add something in here. We're going to add a, we're going to add a transparency mask. And why do we want this? It's because we want to remove the amount of stuff that is still there that doesn't belong here. So as you can see, there are some stuff here and there that needs to be removed. So for instance, right here, as you can see, we can now remove the bits that we don't want and the bits that we do want. Because there are things that are overlapping, as you can see, there are things that are overlapping, but we do want to do this gently. So today it's going to be all removing the bits that we don't want and, you know, get a whole picture and then we can finally start on removing the bits that we do want. Oh, well, then we can start on getting the rest of it. And I should definitely use the soft eraser because the soft eraser is actually better for this. But as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a little bit tricky, this one, because of how things work. And once we have all of this done, we can then add some bits, uh, we can then merge it all. And then uh, once that is merged, we can then add, add it, we can add it, uh, we can add it, the, uh, no, damn it. We can edit the stuff out that we don't want. For instance, right here, there are some bits, nooks, and crannies that I do not want. There are some bits, nooks, and crannies that I do want in this drawing. As you can see, we not fully remove everything because that's a retard move. We do, we, we do want to have it a little bit less size. Yeah, there you go. That way we can relieve the bits here and there. You can also see that that is actually a thing that we can do. The more we do this, the better it gets. That's that's the main idea. And I really like how uh, all of this is actually going on anyway. So therefore, you know, it's all fine. It's just that uh, you know sometimes things can go a little bit of a ha uh, things can go a little bit south, especially with these things. <sighs> of course, I didn't expect this to happen, but you know. It's important that we do, it's important that we learn from our mistakes. We can see already that there are some stuff here and there that needs to be fixed. Yes, true, but the more we, the more we work on this, the better it gets. And then once we uh, add it in the stuff that we need, then, you know, all things considered to be fine. So we're going to just remove the bits that we don't want. Then once that is done, we're going to add the stuff in that we do want. For instance, like, uh, you know, pizza. Pizza is always great. Maybe not in this one, maybe not in this drawing, but uh, yeah, it's good stuff. 
but yeah, we don't we don't want this uh, asshole here. And uh, the only way to fix the only way to fix this is by you know doing this gently, uh, getting from point A to point B, and then you know slowly diminish the amount of stuff that is uh, drawn here. So, like here. This way, you know, we uh, make sure that we secure everything. So we secured the problem, and we don't ruin the drawing in the in the progress. That's uh, a major issue that sometimes happens when you uh, do stuff like this. I'm just gonna double check my mic just on the safe side. Uh, getting f yep, it works good. Um, and yeah. I'm very happy on this, and you can already see that. Oh, maybe we can add some moss in there or something like that. Yeah, we can do that in the in the in the bottom parts. There it is, quite reasonable to do so. But here, no, 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 no. We need to remove it. Also, we should definitely do this one part here gently. So we're gonna stroke it softly, and then once we stroke it softly, the drawing will eventually, you know, oh. All right. And that's how you do it. I really like this. All right. Uh, we have fixed the damn thing, didn't we? Yeah, we did. All right. The, the first one is done. The first one is done, and we can now already see that that adds a lot more cleaner than before. I like it. So now we have done this. All right, now we can look at Mr. Shenanigans 2.2, um, Electric Boogaloo. So we should definitely put this into, uh, where is in that one? Oh, that one is that thing, all right. So we have now Shenanigans 2.0, so we want that to be fixed as well. So that is these two. So we're gonna merge them into a group, quick group. Yes, this is going to be increasing the gigabyte size, true, but once everything is done, we, we can then merge it all, and then it will be fine again. So, there you go. Ooh, no, 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 cancel, cancel. Not a filter, we want to add a transparency mask. We want to show transparency. You can see that that is the thing that we want. We want transparency, so... How do we do this? Well, we know how to do this properly. Uh, wait, this is the other way around, right? Yeah, it is the other way around. God dang it. Um, hold on. No, we don't want this transparency mask on this one. We do want this to, to be grouped up. Um, this one, and then we need this one, right? No? This one? Yes. Uh, no. This one, this one. Where's the line? Alright, hold on. Uh, we need to move this upwards then. These two need to be there. So these need to be going out of there. Uh, this is that one. This one. This one we don't need. This one we don't need. This one do not need, right? This is that part right there. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, we need to get this. Yeah, we need to get this. Ooh. All right. We need to get this. And this one, then? No, no, no. This one. We need this one. We need that thing over there. 
and shove it right in there underneath that one shove it underneath this one right there yes Whew. all right shove it underneath this one yeah yeah uh, it's a little bit tricky here and there, but uh, this thing needs to be into a group. Group 1, group 2, group 3. Yeah, and then this one is also in there. Alright, now we need to move this bad boy. We need to move this bad boy upwards. That way we can fix everything. Now what? Now what happened? Ooh, I see. Hmm. Well, this is good. Now we need to fix the other part. So, um... Where's the other one, then? This one? No. This one? No. Hold on. Let me guess. Ah, okay. So it's two ways. Fine. I'll add a tran I will add a transparency mask here. And we're gonna slowly get this one up and running. So All right, first things first, we need to slow this down so that we can see where the hell we need to trans uh, transfer. This is a hard one to do now. Now we need to do it precisely. So what we're now going to do is get this up and running again, because we now know what to do. And now we need to figure out, like, well, there are some issues here and there, yes, true, but... Uh, All right. And if we now add, does this also work? Oh hell no, that doesn't work. Alright, wait, hold on. Does it work if I do it reverse? Huh? No. Not in the right mind of ideas. Alright. Fine. Um, We have some gaps then. And if we remove the transparency mask, we can see that the gaps are there. And that's fixable. That's fixable. It looks at least this looks at least so much better than before. That's so true though. Um Yes. Alright.
We have this done, we have that done, we have this done, we have that done. Alright, now we can go back to where we the hell we were. Which was actually fixing this boy. Alright. Now the question is, where did that go? That is the thing that we need to remove. That's the sketching part. That's not the sketching part. Is that the sketching part? No, that's not the sketching part. Hmm. Is it in here? Yes, it is in there. Is it in here? Yes, alright, good. Remove the sketchy bit. Good. Oh, I see. Apparently we had double standards here. No worries, no worries, no worries. Um, so it was this one, yeah, yeah. We need to remove this, so, uh, you know. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this. We don't need this sketchy bit of color. Now we can just casually remove the sketch, and then once the sketch is removed, you know, we don't have to worry about a lot. Because since the sketch has been removed, we can now continue with our what we were doing in the first place. And yeah, that's doable. Alright. <laughs> now we have this back. Mm, yes, 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 yes. yes. Alright. Looks like there are some issues here and there. Uh, nothing that a little bit of fixing can fix. So, boop. And we're gonna fix this bit up and then it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna go for this one. And then once I'm done with this, I of course love to work on this right now. And... Oh, that's... That's going to take a while in, right? Oh, hell no. I need that on 3.6. Nope. All right, fine. And then we're going to go for pencil mode. I guess that's... Uh... Huh? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That it is the pencil mode. Oh hell no. This is not the pencil mode I used to see. And there is a problem, isn't there? Oh yes, there is. God dang it. I need to restart this, aren't I? Oh, I have to. But I'm gonna be saving though, because that's the thing I need to do. Eh. Uh, damn it. It's Monday. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna blame it on Monday today. I do love to not blame it on Monday, but uh, yes, apparently I need to do it. So I need to quit this. I need to open the webcom tablet to see if the webcom tablet is even uh, alive. Sometimes this issue can be fixed by restarting. Um, the Kintik thing is there, so no problem there. And it's on the crypt. And it's on criticize. I really don't like it when, you know, a, a program doesn't work the way I like it to have. So we're gonna first do this. And then we're gonna open first a clean sheet. Just to see. Alright, just to see. So we're gonna go for a clean sheet and we're gonna go for A4. And we're gonna create it. Just boom. There, spit it out, you know. Doing the things that I want. And look at that. Oh. Eh. Instant fix. Alright, now the question is why the hell did it not work with the Morphon project? 
it's a thing. It's a thing that happens sometimes. You know, you don't you, a program that a program that is technically free but not fully free. Well, I technically I just paid for it for ten bucks. Oh well, to support the developers. And yes, I would like to have this fixed. This whatever that happened there, I want it fixed. So now that we have this, we're gonna unsafe this and then we're gonna look at this and see so we have the painting we have the painting that we have right here and now the question is like all right if i now draw on this why is this then a thing why is this a thing i want to know i honestly want to know so there are multiple conclusions why this is mm. One of the things is that maybe if we add this on a different layer, we can do that as well. We can say like, well, we want this on a different layer and that doesn't work, fix it. Hmm. So if this is not a fix, um, we can remove the filter. Would that fix it? Probably the answer is yes. Does the filter work? Yes, and look at that. It's the filter that did all the shenanigans. Never mind, don't fix it then. I'm just stupid. Happens a lot, by the way. If you ever notice me to do stupid things and forgot that I put those things on, yeah, that's me. That's me. All right. Now, um, since that we have the first color done of the uh of the tree plot, and we have fixed the major issues that had been been with the tree. And with the blur tool, we probably will fix a lot of the issues that are like the white gaps. So, um, now, what I want to do for 20 minutes, hmm, let's see. Well, we could start trying to color it in a bit, you know, getting a second color in there. Well, you know, that's not, that's not a bad idea. So, we want to have a second color. This color is going to be probably a little bit more darker than the rest. Whoa, a bit darker. And we also want to see, like, if I draw on this, like, it's dark, all right? It's very dark. Now, if I want to go for this, like, you know, darker shade, what kind of dark do we want? Well, we can go for the pure black abyss kind of appearance and then fix the bits that we have left behind like this, you know, we can do that. Or, 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 or we can pick up a color that is already representing here and move on from there. So we want... We want this kind of appeal. We want this kind of appear. And then we also want this to be like just on the darker side. There you go. Now, if we now look at and see if we can now add some darker tints to this drawing, you know, get get some of the uh, lines to be there and put this a bit into perspective, you can see that the tree is already then, you know, looking a little more darker. So this is the right tool we can use but of course it's not the right uh drawing thingy no oh. drawing thingy that we need so we want we want this and we want the pencil mode because the pencil mode gives us the ability to vaguely implement those things you know vaguely implement the ideas of course, we don't want to go for 10, we want to go for 3.6 because, well, we want to do this vaguely. We don't want this to be extreme to the max. All right. So, um, how do we do this? Well, we're going to just add a little bit of, you know, shading towards the lines that we have drawn already and give it a little more of a feeling to it, you know. Just a tiny bit. We don't we don't want to overdo, overdo this, but... We want this to be a little more, you know, real kind of effect. And you can already see that, you know, um, I'm doing this myself quite properly. And then, you know, we can go for this, we can go for that. And look at that. We're almost at the part where we want to be. So, we're just giving this a little bit of a shading part. And this is only the, this is only the dark colors, of course, because, well, you know, when you have dark colors, it, it, it sends out more, you know, depth. And uh, 
we need that. We we need depth, but we don't want too much depth. We want just a bit depth. We want to create this feeling of you know that it is a bark tree. We don't want to give the feeling of that it is like an insane tree of shenanigans. No, 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 no. It's just a tree. So therefore, you know, no, no, no heavy, heavy drawing upon a lot of things. So. As you can see, we can add some of the highlighted areas a little bit with shading and um, they become a little bit more alive. And that's how I always do it. Well, at least, you know, that's how I'm going to be doing it anyway. Just a bit by bit. We don't we don't want to hesitate or well, we don't want to overdo the coloring here and there. We just need gentle. Gen gen gentleness is one of the most important things here and there to create a shading properly. Because of, well, you know, if you do it gentle, you know, things will get more precise and therefore, you know, things that are precise will be standing out a little more better. Of course, we don't want to have this thing to stand out more than it, than it needs to be, but yeah, a little bit shading cannot hurt. I'm gonna need to do, do that also on a Morphok. Oh, man. That's gonna be a horrible thing to do, shading on a whole morphog. That's gonna be a big one. That's gonna be a big job for me to do. But first we need to do the shading on the tree. Because, you know, tree is gonna be in the background. We're not gonna touch the background afterwards. And the shading is normally the last thing you're gonna do. But, of course, because it's in the background, it needs to be finished before anything else. So yeah, we're fixing things and we're using a soft brush to create the, uh, we're using a soft pencil brush to uh, not give away too much. There you go. I'm using the Frey and Jackson now with the baguettes uh, yeah. and croissants. Well, oh well, it happens sometimes. I'm not very good with uh, my own English. English, English, there you go, English. English is not my native language anyway. Long live the Dutch. <laughs> Peter agree is high in this one. Uh, let's see. Um, There you go. Easy as that. It's always lovely to see that, you know, these things work out well. It just takes so much time to work on them. And the more I, and the more I work on them, the better they get. And the more I do them, the more better I get at it. So, yeah, you know, it's always good. It's just that the Morphok project is like a big one. It's like a big boy. A big, well-rounded baby with lots of flaws. Because, holy hell. If I would have ever, do ever done this again, I probably would have le left so less flaws in there. Or I would have started differently. Let's put it that way. I would have started differently and I would have you I would have done things way different. That way, you know, things would have been less big, less of a problem, less of an issue later on. But right now, you know, this is all, you know, me just doing the job I want to do. And I really like um uh, mm. right. You can already see like this is the color normally. And it's a little bit it's a little bit more rougher on the edges sometimes, but there you go. Of 
course I'm not using black because that's every top move, but uh, I'm using a, a tiny bit, tiny bit darker brown. That's that's most likely the effect I'm using. And by doing that, I create more feeling to it. Because if we can now see, this stands out way better than that right now. And once we add the lighter color to it, we can, you know, create more of a fluff effect. It's, it, it, it will all be explained. It's just a lot of work. I'll tell you that. Because right now we have like a lot of white effects to it, and we want, don't want that white effect into the, in, into the drawing too much. We do want to give the feeling of uh, a tree and not like a flat line drawing. And that's the, right now the main problem. And I'm trying to fix it, which it will work. Eventually it will work. The fix will work, but it just takes some time. Like there are parts that you can that you can do. It's just that some parts can't. Alright. Ooh. There you go. There we go.
sometimes it's a little bit really hard to do and tell where and how things need to go. Let's come on, come on, come on. There you go. It's a little bit of a di difficulty here and there to just draw and then, you know, focus on everything else to talk well. That's always a very difficult thing to do. There you go. And then that should be fine, right? I hope so. But uh, about forty minutes in. Um, well, you know, I think that's it. I think that's a that's a good day to call it a day because you know I'm a little bit tired of literally learning, hundred and sixty pages and. Finally finishing the first final the first chapter of the sketching part and then you know next time it's gonna be uh, All about positioning and uh, object uh, object so <laughs> That's gonna be a lovely one to go for to go through anyway um, I think I'll quit here not that I always am a very fast quitter, but just because I need to keep my I keep keep in check that my eyes are not gonna be over overdone. And uh, right now, I am still tired from today. So, and next uh, tomorrow 
tomorrow I will be well, way better. Definitely. But tomorrow I will be working on the emotion. And probably going to be showing you what I how far I got there. And then the day after that I will put a recording down again. Yeah, probably then. And then the day after that it's going to be... So, Wednesday? Wednesday, motherfucker? Wednesday, motherfucker, right? Yeah. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. I hope you all... Uh, I hope... I hope uh, I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye!